Hey guys, so we are going on a road trip. My hair is a mess. So I want to show you guys what we're bringing for snacks. And I wanna give you a few tips and tricks on what you can do for food. Um, I won't show what we're bringing like in terms of food until probably tomorrow when I pack it up. Uh, we'll see if I have time to do that. But um, let's get to showing you this right now. Okay, so here's an overview of the, of the uh, snacks we're bringing. But first I wanna show you this cool trick. So. I get these party mixes from Sam's Club and they come in different shapes. So these two shapes are like a little bit thicker. Um, and if you watched my previous prepper pantry videos, I use these for storing food as well. But all I do is when we finish it, I clean it out and I take the sticker off. And so for these, like I put a bag of chips in each. Um, it doesn't fill it up, but that's okay because if for some reason I don't have space for this and I need to throw this container away when we're done with the trip, chips, I can because it was a basically a free container. So, um, and it helps the chips from getting crushed. And I've had a lot of problems in my RV with going up into higher altitude or whatever and the chip bag, bag expanding and popping. And so this stops the chip bags from popping and chips going everywhere. So just a little tip. Oh, by the way, we're bringing our taco holders. Yum. Okay, so road trip snacks. So I just have a little backpack here. Okay, sorry. And in the backpack, I put a bunch of Pringles. I just filled the bottom with them. And then on the top, I have uh, beef jerky. Um, and then right here in this pouch right here, I have, let me see if I can get it open. I have some Dum Dum Suckers from our last trip um, just to give the kids some treats. And so this will go in the, top, in the front of the car with me. Um, and I'll show you what food we're going to bring to eat. Um, but these are the two chips we're going to bring. Again, here are the different style of containers. I get all of these at Sam's Club. They just always have different containers. They're called Oots or something. Um, but these are just a different skinnier style. And so I put the hot Cheetos in one and the salt and vinegar in the other for me and my husband. Um, I have some leftover salt and vinegar that I can just hand that back to the kids uh, if they want salt and vinegar instead of Pringles. But Pringles are going to be these these are going to be like our main snack source for the whole trip not just for on the way there on the way back to whatever we have left is what we're going to eat so yeah these work great for that um and here's the other the rest of the snacks that we'll be bringing and this is going to go in the front of the truck with me um so i always bring gum and those are just extra packs from mm -hmm. that have like one missing from the plane so i'm going to take those i've got some granola bars um, crunchy granola bars and soft granola bars, uh, just whatever I had left over in my cabinet. Um, and then I have a bunch of fruit snacks. I have two craisins left and I have some uh, gushers from that one grocery haul. So we're going to take those to snack on. And then last but not least, we're going to bring some nuts. So I just have a different variety of like already cracked pistachios, pistachios with shells and some peanuts and the pistachios with shells in this bag. Um, it's in like a sandwich bag and there's another sandwich bag inside that bag that they can put their shells in so and they have little trays for the camper so that is what I'm taking for that so I'll show you in a little bit but I got some pra uh, crab salad for the car too we have like an ice chest that's going to go in the front seat plugged in um, it plugs into the uh, uh, car and so I'm going to take these two for like a little snack because um, this is going to be more for lunch the chips we're gonna have like chips and sandwiches so that's gonna be more for lunch so for a snack I have pretzel crisps and I'll show you the crab salad here in a second um, and then I have these four sandwiches as well I just took this out of my camper and I'm gonna put this in the front seat with us so when we need uh, mayo and mustard for our sandwiches we have it and then I can put it back in the trailer when I'm done these are gonna go in the trailer Sorry, my daughter put something funny on. That's just the trailer. That's the bread for the trailer. Ignore that. But let me show you. Um, let's see here. So tomorrow, let me take this out. Okay, so I have um, tomatoes cut up in strips, in long strips. I took all the seeds out. This It makes it last longer when you take the seeds and the juice out. Um, and I just put it in a mason jar. This The mason jars help them to last longer too. Um, and so I have tomato strips. And then I cut up some lettuce and onion for sandwiches, like half moon onions in here. And I can just throw these away. A pack of these were a dollar. So, you know, if I want to just throw this away in the trash, I can. I've used it so many times that if we need to, we can. And then I have two grapes um, in here, a smaller one and a bigger one, because that's what fit. It's a little bit longer than a sandwich carton, but I washed the grapes and took them off the stems. 
And so they're just sitting there for in the car. And then I have some um, oranges for the car for snacking. And then, hold on. Here's our little treat, the crab salad. Um, I'll probably just dip some and hand it back to the kids uh, for a snack. Or, I, I mean, I don't really know what I'm going to do with it yet. But uh, we're definitely snacking on this. So I'll figure it out uh, as we're driving. But that's going to go with the things. Okay, I guess I will show you the food really quick. Um, what I did. So there's my egg cartons. I filled with eggs. And they're waiting in my outside fridge for me to pack in the in the camper fridge. So I've got those. I have my two bottles of creamer. Um, I might put the creamer in the ice chest. We'll see. Usually I do that just for easy access. Um, so this won't really go in the fridge. But um, here's all of my stuff. And tomorrow I'll show you. In the back here, it's hard to get to. But you can see that one mason jar right here. I don't know if you can even see that. It's got uh, chopped up uh, cilantro. So tomorrow I'll show you if I have time. And I just put like cilantro, onions, um, I put uh, tomato, all that kind of stuff, chopped up uh, jalapenos, and I put them in little mason jars and stick them throughout the fridge, and it keeps them fresh for a long time. So, And then, of course, we're bringing water. I got some big Gatorades for me, some small Gatorades for the kids. Sometimes I drink these, too. I don't know if I'll take all of those, but I wanted to get them cold. Um, but let me show you down here what I got going on. So this is all the food that we're taking. So I've got like chorizo and bacon. Um, I got uh, uh, hash browns for the chili so I got chicken apple sausage, there's chili and rice. And all I do guys is I take the rice that's left over and I just freeze it. And then you can warm it up in a pan. It works out perfect. Um, I've also got fried rice in here so we can take that as well. Um, I just cut up all that chicken I bought in my last video for chicken teriyaki. And so I just labeled it and I'm freezing it. And then it's good to go. I got some strip steak for... So we're all good to go. So hopefully I get a chance to show you guys this food tomorrow packed up. Um, let's see what else do I have. I don't, I'm trying not to take it all out because I'm trying to get that stuff. I got some... Uh, I'm not going to take the top steak. Um, I got some chicken uh, chili in there too and some regular chili so we'll see what we bring um, we're definitely gonna bring chili for the hot dogs though okay and then here is the sandwiches I freeze I froze a bunch of sandwiches in one of my freezer meal videos for for traveling and so I'm just gonna take a thing of these maybe two they're frozen I'm gonna take them out let them thaw a little bit and stick them in the ice chest. And then that's why we have all this stuff cut up for it. So it would, it'll, it's going to be perfect. I'm so excited. Okay, guys. So that is all the snacks that we're bringing for the trip. Um, I hope I get a chance to show you guys tomorrow uh, how I pack it because I love doing that kind of a video. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell. And I hope I give you guys some good ideas. Bye, guys.